Hello class. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about factoring. And uh, specifically, we're going to talk about A is equal to 1 factoring. Uh, before we get started, let's talk about the definition of factoring. It is breaking down or dividing a number into its factors. Now, this particular method, A is equal to 1, is used uh, for quadratic trinomials. And a quadratic trinomial basically looks like this in an expression. And I will have some examples for you here later on. It's important to note that a quadratic basically has a degree of 2, and the leading coefficient is a. Okay, that's that value of a right here. And a, b, and c in this expression, the quadratic expression, all represent constants or just numbers. All right, now, uh, in, in order to do a equals 1 factor, we're going to follow these steps where we're trying to solve a problem. And, but before we do that, I want to give you a concept of what factoring is. If I ask you uh, to factor this number, 48, okay, you would use what's known as prime factorization to break this 48 down. And I would get 6 times 8, okay, or some other numbers that multiply to 48. Then if I break this down some more, then I'll get 2 times 3. And then if I break down the 8, I would, it would be 2 times 2 and another 2. Okay, So this is basically uh, the answer. Uh, this is 48 uh, in its factors. If I was to multiply all these numbers together, I would get 48. That is factoring. Okay, But we're not factoring with numbers in this case. We're going to be factoring with polynomials. So let's do some polynomials. Let's do two polynomial problems uh, that we need to factor. The first one is w squared plus 24w plus 144. Okay? And let's go, through, let's go through some of our steps to see if we can use a is equal to 1 factoring. First of all, we're going to check to see if there is a greatest common factor between each of the terms. If there is, we would take it out. And that would, this actually uh, involves another video that you need to look at. But in this case, there is no greatest common factor between these three terms. So we move on to step 2. And I need to identify that A is equal to 1. A, you can't see right here, but it is a 1. Okay, so that means we are going to use this method <coughs> to factor this polynomial. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that for a second. Now, the next step is we're going to look for two numbers. When multiplied, okay, we're going to get the value of C. And when you add the same two numbers, I'm going to put the add here. When you add, sorry. When you add the same two numbers, I'll get rid of that. Okay. you get the value of b. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look for two numbers. When we multiply them together, we get the value of c, which is 144. And when we add those same two numbers, we're going to get the value of b, which is 24. Okay. All right. So in case you guys uh, can't see that, okay, this, is the va this is c, this is b, and this is a, okay? Those are my uh, constants in this expression. So let's move on. So what numbers uh, can multiply uh, to 144 and add to 24? Uh, you may have to do some trial and error, right? But the numbers are found at 12 and 12. It's important to note that this value and this value must be exactly the same. Let me tell you why. Uh, because let's say I had 6 times 24. That equals the 144, right? Okay, that's the first two numbers I found. However, if I was to add these two numbers, okay, I don't get a 24, I get a 30. So these two numbers can't work in our uh, paradigm, all right? So let's keep moving to the next slide, next step. The next step is when we pe get past step three, we're going to move to step four, and we're just simply going to make two parentheses, like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to put the numbers that we found in each of the parentheses, which is, and they're both positive, so that's plus and plus. And then we're going to use the variable over here, okay, that we are using in our problem. Okay, this is the factored form of this polynomial. Okay, we broke this down. Here's what it looks like. If I was to multiply these two together using uh, either box method or foil method, I should get this polynomial. 
Okay? So let's move on to our next example. Let me erase this right quick. Our next example is 32 plus 18r plus r squared. Okay? So, at first glance, saying, Mr. Frazier, what? This doesn't look like this right here, right? Well, it is. Okay, it's just not in its standard form. So the first thing you probably want to do is put it, put it in standard form. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to put this, which is my, uh, which is my leading coefficient and my degree, all in the first term right here. And then the next term is going to be plus 18r. And then the last term is the constant, plus 32. Oh, sorry, 32. So now this is, a, is in its standard form, which looks like this, all right? So now let's go ahead and factor it. So the first step, once again, check for GCF, which there's no GCF in this case. We've already identified that, okay? The next step is look for two numbers. When I multiply them together, I get uh, the value of C, which is 32. And then when I add them together, I get the value of 18, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to look for two numbers. When I multiply them together, I get... 32. And when I add them together, I get 18. Now, what are my two numbers? Through trial and error, okay, it might, it might take you a little time to find those two numbers, all right? It's going to be 2 and 16. Well, let's check that. 2 times 16 is 32. 2 plus 16, I mean, 2 plus, six, plus 16 is 18. All right, and then we go to our last, our fourth step right here. We multiply, all right? I mean, we put our, we create our parentheses. We put our two numbers in there, which is two and 16. Okay, they're both positive, so they put plus on both of them. And then we use the variable, which is r, that is being used in the problem. This is our answer. That is the factor form of uh, 32 plus 18r plus r squared. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and rewind uh, and then pause where you need to pause to see where you know where you got lost. All right, thank you.